Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome again to another uh, prayer session during the midnight prayer, during the third wash. Uh, in the name of Jesus, God has allowed us to see another day. My God, it is May um, 18th and it is the top of the morning. It is now 1231 and we're going to give God all the glory and all the praise because he took us into another day. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord again this morning because he is great and he's greatly to be praised. We honor the Lord for all of the great things that he has for us. Hallelujah. We pray them this morning. We lift our voice up to him today in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank all of the warriors that are going to come on the line. Hallelujah. And help us to intercede. Hallelujah. For those that cannot intercede for themselves. My God. We want to lift them up high this morning God, with a humble heart. Hallelujah. With a broken heart and a contrite spirit. We're going to cry out to them, hallelujah, to God this morning on behalf of all of those that cannot pray for themselves. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we had a wonderful time the last two days, two mornings. We've been talking about uh, breaking the curses. Hallelujah. Uh, praying prayers that break the curses. Very informational, very informative, very uh, powerful, I believe, my God. And at the end of the prayer, I, there was a release. God released folks from the bondage, my God, of curses, hallelujah, strongholds, hallelujah, of any and every kind in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless the Lord this morning, hallelujah. We praise and uplift his mighty name, my God, hallelujah. We at the third watch, hallelujah, very needed to come and to bear witness to the Lord and to call on his name on behalf of his people at 12, in between 12 and 3, hallelujah. It is the third watch, very crucial, very key, hallelujah, because this is the time mostly men are asleep. Hmm. And then spiritually, the uh, mankind have gone to sleep and let things slip upon them, slip by them, hallelujah. Instead of taking a stand and advocating for justice and what was right and standing on the kingdom's principles, we were sleep saints. I'm trying to tell you, we were sleep when they took prayer out of school. They was, we were sleep when they passed the law of, of, of homosexuality, same-sex marriage, God. We were sleep, hallelujah, as they try to pass the law of abortion, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We used to have advocates. We used to have men and women that have stand up for righteousness and for justice. But oh God, where are those men and women at today? They used to do marches, oh God, standing on the principle in, in lure of justice. They did sit-ins, hallelujah, to cry out for justice in a silent manner, in a non-violent manner. God, where are we today in the name of Jesus? Oh, God, in the word of God, he said he looked out. God looked among the people. Hallelujah. He was looking for an intercessor. Hallelujah. That would stand in the gap. And he said, I couldn't find nobody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, to stand in the gap for my people, to cry out for my people, because they have turned their backs and their hearts away from me. But there was nobody to stand in the gap. Well, I thank you and I beg you the difference this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, God. God has set up watchmen. Hallelujah. On the wall. Hallelujah. They're watching four times, four sections of the day. Prayer is going forth, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. We are standing on the wall. We are blessing the Lord, hallelujah, and we are crying out, oh God, for God's people, hallelujah. We're in trouble. Our nation in trouble, hallelujah. The church wide is in trouble. 
Why? Because many have turned their backs on God. We have set up a different standard. My God, Jesus said that he was the way. I am the way. I am the truth and I am the light. No man come to the Father but by me. There is no other standard. Faith is the way. Hallelujah. Prayer, hallelujah, reaches is the key to heaven. But faith unlocks the door. And we got to have faith. Oh, God, help us to be obedient to you even the more, oh, God, in these last and evil days, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. I'm going to prove to you that God was not pleased with us. That's why we're in the midst of a pandemic. He trying to get our heart circumcised. He trying to get our heart, our devotion back to him like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants it done in a different way. He wants it done according to the scriptures. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Not because of man, religions and standards and traditions, uh, traditions and cultures, but by the word of the living God. He told Nicodemus in his word, he said, men cannot even see the kingdom of God if they have not been born again. He said you can't even enter into the kingdom unless you be born again, born of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the water. Oh, my God. In the name of Jesus. I was thinking about that thought today and we're going to go into prayer. But God said in his word, it's not about what we say. Hallelujah. But what we have experienced in him. In the mighty name of Jesus, we're going to move forward. Thank you, prayer warrior, to come on the line this morning and help us to intercede for God's people. We need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Hallelujah. To stand in agreement and stand in prayer, calling out people's names, seeking God's face this morning. In the name of Jesus, I must read a word of God in Psalms chapter, uh, Psalms 1. Hallelujah. That is our scripture reading this morning. and I will be reading it out of the King James Version. My God, my God. And it says, Blessed is the man, hallelujah, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, my God, nor standeth in the way of sinners. We got to get out of their way. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, my God. But his delight, the blessed man, his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law do he meditate day and night continually, my God. And he shall be like a plant, a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper by God. But the ungodly are not so. They are like shaft which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, my God, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. I bless the Lord this morning. John 3.16 says, He, hallelujah, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Praise the Lord. The God's word is true. God's word is alive. God's word is active. And God's word is transforming. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to start in interceding for different situations and praying with prayer requests that people have asked us to pray for. Hallelujah. And we just honor the Lord this morning because he is so good to us. My God. Hallelujah. We're going to begin with the bereaved family because every day, 
Oh my God, every day somebody is transitioning on home. Somebody's life has been taken because of the coronavirus. Somebody's life been taken because of the sicknesses and the diseases. Somebody's life has been taken because of violence and injustice. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh we bless the name of the Lord according to Deuteronomy 33 and 27. Father, we lift up Bishop Rod. I have not had an update on him, but God, he was rushed to the hospital to the ER a few days ago. I have not heard from anything about him, but we're going to lift his name up before you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God, have your way today, God. Heal, deliver, and set free. We asking, oh God, to cry. We're crying out for Brianna, oh God. Her life was taken even in the in her own home, oh God. Tragic, tragic, tragic death, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift up the R. Berry family that locked the son, God, in a tragic murder, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we praise you, oh God, and we lift you up. Father, we lift those families up that are mourning, God, that has lost loved ones, oh God. We lift the families up right now. Strengthen them, oh God. Embrace them with your presence, oh God. Let them know that you are with them, oh God. Let them realize that they have do not have to go through this by themselves. You are yet walking with them in this season, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Now, God, we're going to pray for those women that want to have a child, want to birth a child, according to Psalms 113 and 9. Oh God, we pray for Abigail that desire to get pregnant, God, and countless the women that want to birth a child, God. They want to experience being a mother, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh God, God, grant them their desires of their hearts, God, as they delight themselves in you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you this morning for those women, O oh God. Oh, don't you feel their hearts? Hallelujah. Crying out to God, seeking his faith. Lord, I just want to get pregnant. I want to have a child. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for the Christian ministries, oh, God, and worship uh, houses, oh, God, centers, oh, God, according to Acts 20 and 28. Father God, we pray for every uh, mem- group of members of the body of Christ everywhere, worldwide, oh God, that hallelujah, that we can see that God, that you are speaking to us in the midst of this pandemic, God. Somebody thought that he ain't saying nothing, but oh my God, I hear him speaking very loud and clear, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. He want his people to turn their hearts and mind back to him, God, in the name of Jesus. We have got caught up with trivia your pursuit. Oh my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are chasing after things that don't even matter. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, help us, oh God, to seek those things that are eternal, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, those things that are eternal, that is sitting in glory, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh many are chasing after these temporary things, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to seek the hand of God, but we need to seek the faith of God. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, help us, oh God, put a burden on our hearts, oh God, to seek your faith, oh God. Hallelujah. You said that, hallelujah, that that we have to believe that God is and that he is a rewarder unto them that diligently seek him. Mm, mm, mm. We got to seek the faith of God, my brothers and sisters. Stop seeking the hand of God. Oh, God, he knows what we stand in the need of. He knows, oh, God, he left it on record that the birds of the air he take care of, the flowers in the field he take care of. He said, but you, hallelujah, my precious creation, I love you more than I love the birds. I have more, hallelujah, 
respect for you than those flowers in the field, oh God. He said, because I breathe, breathe my breath inside of man, he's my precious jewel, my all oh, my precious creation that I love so much, that I came down from heaven for a spirit of time and dwelling with him. I sup with him. I, I will commune with him. Hallelujah. Oh God. He loved us with an everlasting love and we bless the Lord right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to turn away from those wicked things, God. Those things that, that's just a distraction, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, as the body of Christ to seek your faith daily, every day, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody asked for prayer for Prara, uh, Paula Huerte, who had lung cancer, oh God, and Valerie Glover's mother had a stroke, oh my God, on last Wednesday, oh God, we lift up the family today now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray for businesses and intra entrepreneurs, oh God, according to Deuteronomy 8 and 18, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, you give us creative ideas. You give us skills. You give us wisdom, oh God, to be able to be self-employed, oh God. Hallelujah. It's a season and a time for you to be your self-employed individual, oh God. Hallelujah. I know it's a challenge, but if God has called you to that place, if he has put that vision and dream down on the inside, there is nothing too hard for God because if he gave you the vision, he's going to make the provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we have all shot at our we lift up the name of God for those businesses, God, in Jesus' name. We praying for finances right now, according to Philippians 4 and 19, oh God. Hallelujah. Many people have almost used up all of their savings. Some of them have used up their savings through this time of uh, quarantine, oh God. But Lord, you say that you give us power to get wealth. Hallelujah. And it, and, and it won't add no sorrow to it, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, we lift up all sicknesses and disease under the blood of Jesus, according to First Peter 2 and 24, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, in you, hallelujah, in the spiritual realm, oh God, there is no sickness and disease, hallelujah, because we see it here in the flesh, because we, this flesh is still uh, subject to sin, oh God, in the name of Jesus, and sickness and diseases is a sign, oh God, of sin, mm, my God, not that you're committing sin, but the flesh is still connected to it, oh God, when we get the new body, my God, there will not be any more sickness, but oh God, you are a healer, my God, you are God that healeth us, oh God, we believe in the power of prayer to heal, I know what I'm talking about, on last evening, hallelujah, I got an attack from the enemy, my God, hallelujah, I knew I was, that's why I called for the intercessors to come alongside and to be with us and to pray with us and to intercede with me, to agree with me as we were teaching and preaching and singing and praying those different categories, hallelujah, breaking the curses, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, but I laid my hands on my own self, and I'm telling you to the truth, God, I saw the deliverance, I saw the breakthrough. Hallelujah. And I began to feel relief in my body in the mighty name of Jesus. I just believe God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. He healed my body. Hallelujah. Oh, my stomach was, was all 
mess. I was so painful. But God, I'm come to tell you this morning, I don't have no pain. I don't have no anxiety from the pain in the mighty name of Jesus. God is our healer. We just have to believe God. We have to trust him with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our way. We must acknowledge him. I don't care what it is, saying. I don't care how big it is, how small it is, how insignificant you may think it is, but I'm telling you, trust in God. Believe God for everything that we need in the name of Jesus. We pray this morning, oh God, for generational curses. Hallelujah. According to Galatians 3 and 13. Hallelujah. Ah, my boy say, we are bound with things that have already been delivered. We have to say, God, loose me. Loose me, God. Loose me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's given us power over all the works of the enemy. Hallelujah. We can cast out demons in our own lives that come to kill, steal, and destroy. We think that pertains to the next man, but it's pertaining to you and me. We can do that same pr- You pray that same prayer over our own self. Every curse has all already been nailed to the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. That's what my Bible says. But the reality of it, we keep holding on to it. We keep giving vent to it. We keep justifying it. Hallelujah. We killing ourselves with our own mouth. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We got to stop defending the thing. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. He told us in the word of God in 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. He said bring everything under the subjection and authority and the power of God because our weapons of this warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold, even the imagination of thought. He wants us to bring it unto him. Lay it out on you because he cares for us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you for deliverance today. I thank you for healing today. I thank you for the breakthrough this morning, oh God, in somebody's life, oh God. Hallelujah. They're going to get up this morning. They're going to put on faith like never before from this prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray the prayer of faith over every single one, God, that's on the line, those that are not on, those that are listening in. God, I pray right now the prayer of faith. I pray that faith would grip their very being like never before. They're going to do supernatural things that they never done before. That going, things going to enter in their mind that's supernatural. They're going to begin to walk in it in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I declare it. Hallelujah. And I believe it right now, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those that are in the hospital, those that are in the nursing home, God, according to Psalm 71 and 9. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, those people that's in the hospital, we have a plague with all kinds of things, oh God. Things we can't even name, oh God. But tonight in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood over every sickness and everyone in the hospital, oh God. We pray that they're coming out of there, God, according to your plan and purpose, oh God, and according to your will in glory. In the name, name of Jesus and whatever the doctor has said that they're uh, plague with God, you got the final say. Hallelujah. Whose report are we going to believe? My God, we're going to believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may go in there with one thing, but you're coming out a different way. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we even pray for those that are in recovery right now. Those that you brought them through a, a surgery. You brought them through procedures. You brought them through different uh uh, test and 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 different things in their lives, oh God. But you brought them through it, oh God. Then yet have a testimony to tell that I was laid there in the bed. Hallelujah! They cut on me how many times, oh God, oh God. But I'm still here today, oh God. We got something to thank God for in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray for our elderly, oh God. They stand in the 
need of you, oh God. They get to a place in their life, oh God, and they feel like don't nobody care about it. I'm going to see you know about that. Nobody care about me. Hallelujah. My family done forgot about me. They don't even come see me. Oh God, God forbid that, oh God, for a family member to put their loved ones in a nursing home and don't ever come see them. Don't ever bring them no flowers. Don't ever come and pray with them. Don't ever come and read a scripture. My God, what's wrong with our nation? That's what I'm talking about. God wants us to get back to loving our loved ones, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Our little mamas and our little daddies that is in these nursing facilities, our grandmas and grandpas. How can we forget about it? My God, in the name of Jesus. We realize that some of these places have closed down because of the pandemic, oh God. But they got a staff that's there, oh God. Some of them that are yet open, they have a staff there that they can be kind and be loving and be thoughtful, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, Father, we're going to lift up our spiritual leaders, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, according to Hebrews 13 and 17, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift up our spiritual leaders today. Give them a shepherd heart, oh God. Give them a love down in their heart for your people. Oh God, give them a passion, oh God, for you, God, to be obedient to your word right now, God. Hallelujah. It's not by my hallelujah. It's not by power, my she had but it's by my spirit, said the Lord, oh God. I call it out right now, God. Lay aside your agenda, hallelujah, and take up the agenda of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, help God move the kingdom forward, oh God. We got to become kingdom minded, oh God. Hallelujah. We can't be wrapped up, oh God, and tied up in our old traditions and cultures, oh God, which is all right to an extent, but we can never put it above the laws of God, the ways of God, the word of God, the passions of God, the love of God. In the name of Jesus, we got to care about the people that you have put over, have put oversight over people, oh God, not to be a a, a tyrant or a dictator over the people, but to be a leader, a leader leading them into the path of righteousness, oh God, for your name's sake, oh God. Help them, oh God, these leaders, oh God, to find a secret place, hallelujah, a special place where they go out and lay out before you to hear from you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We can't lead a people if you you haven't led us nowhere. Oh, God, help us today, oh, God. If you're not talking to us, if you're not speaking to our hearts, the rhema word, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I, hallelujah, I cry out for them today, God. Many of our leaders, oh, God, they are con committing suicide and they're getting caught up in pornography oh god and drugs oh god they're getting caught up in the wrong thing oh god i beg i bind that spirit over our leaders now in the name of jesus that belial spirit that spirit that comes to kill steal and destroy the body of christ oh god hallelujah to compromise my god hallelujah it comes to tear down oh god it comes to distract us, oh God, from our purpose and our destiny. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, we start getting the lust of the eye. We start dwelling in the pride of life. Hallelujah. And the lust of the flesh. Oh God, God forbid, help us to lay aside every weight and the sin, oh God, that would so easily beset our leaders, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray for our governmental leaders, oh God. Oh my God, all I can do, God, is I say I'm putting them in your hand, oh God. I pray for conviction to come to their heart, God. I pray that your word would cleanse them, that word would transform their mind, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, God, if you don't do it, it's not going to be done, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless your name this morning, oh God, for our governmental leaders, oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we're thinking, oh, God, about our children. God, they're getting our country in a debt that we are never going to be able to pay back. Oh, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, I know that they're not doing.
doing the things that you have called them to do, the things that are important, they neglect, oh God. They still try to feed things flesh. They still try to seek after temporary things. But God, you got some eternal things that outweigh all of the things, ideas, and thoughts that they can come up with, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our military, oh God, and our armed forces, oh God, according to Joshua 1 and 9. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for them, God. We thank uh, you for them, for their sacrifice. We thank you, Father, for their dedicated service, oh God. We thank you for the passion and the patriotism that they have for their country, oh God. My God, hallelujah, God. That is the only place that I basically know of, God, that the men and women yet have a passion for what well, we don't have a passion for justice. We don't have a passion for uh, uh, loving our brothers and sisters, God. We got to get a burden and a passion in our hearts, oh God, to do and to live according to your word. We thank you for the sacrifice that they made, oh God, uh, for us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you for the, they're in these strategic areas, oh God, to keep bombs from being dropped on our land where we can live in peace, my God. Hallelujah. We don't have to wake up to a gun being shot and a bomb being dropped. God, we are yet living in peace in America. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, no goodness of our own. Oh God, because, but because of your grace and your mercy. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray for families. Oh God, according to 1 Timothy 3 and 4. Oh God, the family God is really the, the foundation. It's the building block of the church. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. If the family that prays together, they'll stay together. And that same mindset, that same spirit in that praying home will be spilled over into when we gather together in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the families, God. There's opposition and in, in against the family, oh God. That spirit of Belial is trying to tear up the family, oh God. Oh God, oh God, separate the mom from the fathers and the children from the parents, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus and the parents against the children, oh God. We were praying this morning through our, during our prayer time at 6 o'clock, oh God, and somebody mentioned about that the children and these, some of these homes during the pandemic have become subject to abuse. Hallelujah. Their parents are being abusive to the children because they're not used to being with the children all day long. They're used to sending them off to school, sending them to daycare sitting them down in front of the TV when they, whenever they came home in front of a video game. They haven't poured anything into the children of godliness, holiness, sanctification, righteousness, the word of God, the love for God. They're not pouring anything into the children. So the children are most likely being very at, uh, active and the parents are getting frustrated. So they're being abusive. I bind the spirit of Belial in the name of Jesus. You will not destroy our children. We will not allow to know that. And you continue in that way. Convict the heart, God. Arrest them if they may, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, give these parents help, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for marriages, oh God. According to Hebrews 13 and 4, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. God, bring those uh, relationships back in a loving uh, rec. Rest, uh, restoration, oh God. Bring them by. Restore the love. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Restore the love back to the wife and the husband, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Excuse me. <sighs> Hallelujah. Restore the love, oh God. Back into the family, oh Father. In the name of Jesus. Uh, back to the husband and the wife, oh God. Restore those relationships, God. Hallelujah. To become godly relationships. Lord, let you be the, let, allow them, put it in their hearts, oh God, to let you be the center of their relationship, oh God. Let their relationship be bounded and uh, build it and foundational on you, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let the relationship that you would be the center of, oh God. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, God let them set aside their own desires and their own wishes and what they want to do. What's best for the relationship, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray for the children. We did just a moment ago, according to uh, uh, Psalms 127 and 3, they are an heritage unto the Lord. They are a blessing to the parent, O oh God. We pray for the grandchildren, O oh God, according to Proverbs 7 and 17 and 6, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We lift them up before you now, God, because our children and our grandchildren, they are the church of tomorrow, O oh God. We got to train them up, O oh God, in the way they should go. And when they get old, O oh God, they will not depart from it, O oh God. Help us to love our children, God. Help us to have patience with our children. Help us, O oh God, to spend time with our children. Help us to take the time, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for the children, God. Oh God, don't let them be products of divorce, oh God. In these relationships, let divorce not be an option, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray for prisons, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of these men and women that's locked behind bars, God. They are not guilty of the crime that they have been charged with. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, we ask right now, Father, that you intervene and bring the truth out, oh, God. Uh, hallelujah, that they can be released, oh, Father, God. But those, oh, Father, God, hallelujah, we pray for salvation and deliverance from all, oh, God, for all, oh, God. Save their souls, oh, God. Yeah, they might have been a murderer. They might have been a thief, God. They might have been one that uh, drug uh, cartel, God, uh, tax evasion. All of these things, oh God. Lord, you have forgiven from those things, oh God. We pray, oh Lord, if you help them to turn their hearts to you, oh God. Help them, oh God. Reveal yourself to them in the prisons, oh God. In the jails and in the prison halls, in the juvenile halls, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. These people need salvation, oh God. Send your word to them by some preacher, God, some missionary, some evangelist. Oh God, somebody that just loved the prison ministry, oh God, that got a passion for it. Send them today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we pray for addictions, oh God, of all and any kind, oh God. Addiction from drugs, oh God. Addiction from uh, from alcohol. Addiction from uh, lust, oh God. Addiction for pornography, oh God. Addiction for uh, prostitution, oh God. Addiction from overeating, oh God. Addiction for watching too much TV, oh God. Addiction from things that draw us apart from you, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, I declare and decree tonight uh, the drug user. You you're going to throw down your spoon, your crack spoon. You're going to throw away the needles. Oh, God, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray today, conviction's going to infiltrate your very being, and you're going to come under the conviction of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And you're going to throw your hands up and say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? God, do it for your glory and your honor, and we'll be so careful, oh, God, to give you the praise. Father, we pray for every stronghold, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We talked about it early, oh God. Hallelujah. It's things that we have build it up. We didn't open up a doorway in our eyes. We didn't open up a doorway in our ears and in our mouth, oh God, with our hands and with our feet. And we tend to defend the thing, but we need to cast every one of those strongholds, God, hallelujah, under the power and the anointing and under the name of Jesus Christ. Loose your hold now in Jesus' name. Loose me. That's what you say. Loose me today, God under the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We talked about suicide, God, according to John 10 and 10. Yes, the devil comes to steal, 
kill, and destroy. But Jesus, you came that we may have life, my God, and that more abundantly, oh God. You came to give us abundant life, oh God. And I speak to them spirits, I speak to them hearts this morning, oh God, to fall in love with Jesus all over again. Seek his faith. Realize the way that you're going is the destructive way. Hallelujah. Let them know, God, that there is no way out for suicide. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for those, oh God, that's in the front line, oh God. The first, the front line of these, this pandemic, oh God. Those doctors and those nurses and those technicians, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're seeking your faith, God, tonight. And we praise in your name for covering them and protecting them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We praying for Nurse Swoop, oh God. She was one of the first responders, oh God. She was a nurse, an RN nurse, going into the hospital day after day, taking care of those that are contracting the virus. Well, she has contracted the virus, oh God, and she's in critical condition, oh God. She's under critical care, oh God, and we praise you right now. Deliver Heal and set free today, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the entire body of Christ, oh God, hallelujah, in which he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day and he got up declaring that all power is in his hand. God, we have to stay hopeful. We got to stay prayerful. We got to stay encouraging, even if we got to encourage our own selves. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of anxiety, depression, frustration, and rejection. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, it has no place in the heart and the life of a Christian. Hallelujah. Because he said, don't be anxious for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, make your request known unto God. Hallelujah. Whatever you feel and down about, turn it over to Jesus and he'll work it out for you. Oh my God. Oh my God. You feeling rejected. Hallelujah. Okay. Let him reject you. Let him going about their business, but God is embracing you. He's loving you. He's yet guiding your steps. He got, he's yet providing for you. He's yet making a way for you. So it doesn't matter if man reject you. God didn't reject you. God yet loves you with an eternal and an everlasting love in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we have time to uh, to uh, command the morning, pray the, the prayer of commanding the morning this morning. And we're going to start on it today in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we declare your lordship over this day. We are getting under your covering and anointing of the early riser, O oh God. We command the morning to take hold of the ends of the earth and shake the wicked out of it. Job 38 and 12. God, we have dominion over the devil in the morning, according to Psalms 49 and 14. Lord, make the go outgoings of the morning to rejoice, according to Psalms 65 and 8. God, we receive your love and kindness every morning. Psalms 143 and 8. Lord, release your beauty of the holiness from the womb of the morning. Psalms 110 and 3. God, let your light break forth in our life this morning, according to Psalms 58 and 8. Lord, let your loving, let your judgments come up on the enemy morning by morning. Isaiah 28 and 19. Lord, your going forth is prepared as the morning, and we pray that you will come as the rain and the latter and the former rain upon the earth. Hosea 6 and 3. Lord, visit us every morning. Job 7 and 18. Lord, you awaken us morning by morning. You awaken our ears to hear as to learn. Isaiah 50 and 4. God teaches something new today. Don't let us go through this day and don't learn at least one thing that we didn't know in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we pr- we will not be afraid of the arrow that flies by uh, uh, day or the terror that flies by night. According to Psalms 91 and 5, Lord, show forth your salvation in our life from day to day. Psalms 96 and 2, Lord, release mysteries to us. Bring heaven down to earth. 
God, we come to an agreement with heaven to declare your glory. Even the chief angels with their flaming swords are battling on our behalf ahead of time. My God, God appointed our appointed times have been declared by God in the heavens. At sunrise, Lord, the dawn will give birth to the will of God and light will shine upon the wickedness to shake it from the heaven. Oh, my God, at twilight, oh God, our enemies shall flee mm, and newly found spoils will await us at our destination. Our destiny, hallelujah, is inevitable. Deuteronomy 30 and 19, hallelujah. Oh God, let our prayers reach you this morning. And we believe that it did, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we command the morning, we command his ears, oh God, to open to us and hear our cry. My God, let conception, hallelujah, take place. Mm, mm, mm. That Holy Spirit prayer that will reign and be dispatched upon the earth and do your will. God, we command the earth to get in place to receive heavenly instruction on our behalf. My God, we command all the elements of creation to heed and obey. My God, as by our praise we sound and the day breaks, the earth shall yield her increase unto us. God, I'm telling you why we're praising the Lord. Hallelujah. The earth shall yield her increase unto us. God, we declare the first light has come. Hallelujah. The first fruit of our morning is holy and the entire day is holy. My God, we prophesy, my God, the will of God to the morning so that the day spring dawn will know its place in our day. My God, we declare, O oh God, that the first light will shake the wickedness from the four, four corners of the earth. The line, my portion, are falling on our behalf in pleasant, sweet, agreeable places, and we have a secure heritage. O oh God, God, we are strategically lined up with the ladder. This, this I love. We are strategically lined up with the ladder that touches the third heaven and fits on the earth. Ha! Huh? Like Jacob ladder. The angels are descending and ascending according to the word we speak. We have authority. God has given us angels, hallelujah, that watches over us all the time. Whatever is bound or loose on earth is also uh, already bound and loose in heaven. Revelation, healing, God, deliverance, salvation, peace, joy, God, relationship, finances, businesses, promotions, oh God, and resources that have been demonically blocked, hallelujah, are being loosed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your hold on God's people in their every area of their lives. God, we are contagiously blessed. We are blessed going out. We are blessed coming in. Everywhere, everything we touch is blessed. Look at this. Everywhere our feet touch, it is blessed. And every word that we speak is blessed. My God, my God, we are contagiously blessed. Hallelujah. Not only are we blessed, but it's contagious. Whoever we come in contact with, whoever we speak to, they are blessed. My God, as I command the morning and capture the day, the time is being redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. My God. The people of God have taken authority over the fourth watch of the day. My God, that's from 3 to 6 a.m. The spiritual airways and highways are being hijacked for Jesus. Listen at this. The atmosphere of the airways over our me and you, over our family, over our churches, over our workplaces, over our ministry, over our neighborhood, over our city, 
over our nation and over our world. It's producing a new climate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. This new climate is constructing a godly stronghold in times of trouble. My God, God is getting ready to shift some things. He's getting ready to do some things that we have never seen or heard before. And it's all in the spirit. Hallelujah. They say it's in the spirit first, then in the natural. Amen and amen. God is getting ready to do some things we have never seen before. It may be catastrophic. Oh, how glory to God. God's judgment is coming. It is here today. So we got to be careful. But God is constructing in the midst of the catastrophe, in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of his judgment. He is constructing a godly stronghold in times of trouble. You hear what I say? In times of trouble. The thinking of people will become conducive to the agenda of the kingdom of God. Every demonic agenda, evil thought pattern designed against the agenda of the kingdom of heaven is destroyed at the root of conception in the mighty name of Jesus. I come in agreement with the saints as we suffer violence and the violent take it by force. My God, no longer we will we accept just anything, my sisters and my brothers. We don't accept everything that is dealt in to us in our day. We declare that the kingdom of God has come and the will of God be done on earth as it is in heaven. As the sun rises, O oh God, let it shine favorably. Hallelujah. Upon your people. My God, I declare no lack in any area of our lives. For when the sun, look what I'm saying. When the sun rises, some of us may not even be awake yet. But when the, as the sun rises, let it shine favorably upon your people. Daily destiny is our portion. Because why? We have no thought for tomorrow. For this day Give us our daily bread. My God, we're riding on the wings of the morning into a new day of victory in the mighty name of Jesus. God separates the light from the night from the day. So he knows exactly when these things are taking place. The Lord has given us dominion over all the elements and the works of his hand. He has placed them under our feet. Because we fear the name of the Lord, the righteous, the, the son of righteousness, the S-O-N, shall r- arise with healing in his wing. And we shall tread down the wicked until they become ashes under our feet. We command to walk in this dominion daily. We decree and declare a new day, a new season, and a fresh anointing. This is my favorite of all of these commandments. Commanding the ingredients of our destiny are programmed into our day, our years, and our season. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1 says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. God has programmed the ingredient in our destiny of our destiny into our day. Whatever he wanted to happen today is going to happen because he already programmed it. All we need to do is, is walk in it by faith in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus over every principality, power, and ruler of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places, a sign against the purposes of God for our lives, for our family, our churches, our life, our family, our churches, our cities, our nation. The blood of Jesus has been shed that we would have the victory each and every day. And we would have the victory over every power and principality in the mighty name of Jesus. It may be formed, but it will not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. God, we bind every destiny thief. 
We bind every destiny pirate. We bind every destiny devourer in the name of Jesus. They are dethroned and dismantled in Jesus' name. We declare they have no influence over our day in the mighty name of Jesus. Every curse sent against our day is bound and broken and rendered powerless and sent to the cross. We displace the Luciferian spirit. We bind every false light bearer in the name of Jesus. Our prayers would disrupt dark plans and give our enemy a non-prosperous day. We have the victory over our enemy every morning. Our day is prosperous. I declare it and I decree it by the power of God in the name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Amen. If there's anyone, if there's any loved one that you know today that don't know Jesus Christ in the pardon of their sin, if they have not received him in their hearts by faith, we offer him to you this morning, hallelujah, for Jesus said, for the wages of sin is death, and all, hallelujah, have sin. Everybody, all of us have sin and come short of the glory of God. And Jesus knew that we could not pay the debt that we owed, and he paid, a, he, he, he paid the debt that he didn't owe, and we couldn't pay the debt that we owe. Hallelujah. He didn't even owe a debt, but he paid it on our behalf. And we thank God this morning. He gave his life. He gave his blood. He gave his ounce of strength. Hallelujah. For us on the cross. And if you believe that this morning, hallelujah, if you receive that in your heart this morning, Bible said, whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. Not only that, he grows again on the third day. He did it so that we can rise again. My God, my God, we thank you. Now, let's pray this little prayer this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, come into my heart. Sup with me today. Hallelujah. Turn my life around, oh God. Devil, we are through with you. We don't have nothing to do with you, and you have nothing to do with us. There's nothing in us that you can render unto uh, you for no reason, for no how, for no power, for nothing. We don't want nothing to do with you. We're turning our backs on you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask right now, come in our heart, cleanse us. Hallelujah. Wash us and fill us with the Holy Ghost. Baptize us with the Holy Ghost that we can live a set apart life for you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, if you prayed that prayer, you got to go tell somebody that I gave my heart to Jesus on May 18th, 2020 at 126 a.m. And the heavens, the angels in heaven is rejoicing with us. Hallelujah. They're shouting the victory that one more soul came into the kingdom. One more soul has been added to my uh, God family in the name of Jesus. We love God today. We honor him for all that he does for us. Hallelujah. Help us to walk in faith and not by sight. God, we just honor you this morning and we thank you. And I have to read this scripture our a Arianic blessing. Hallelujah. I love it. 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 And it's coming out of Numbers chapter 6, verses 20. Start at the 23rd verse. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God is so good to us. And he's going to keep us throughout this day. He's going to walk with us. And he's going to talk to us. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron. And unto his son, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. Hallelujah. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and uh, give you peace. And I love this part. And may Israel, may the body of Christ, 
put his name upon themselves. And he said, and I will bless them. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. Now, we'll meet again tomorrow morning at 12.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. for another session, another hour of midnight prayer. Hallelujah. And God, keep you and bless you until we meet again without the loss of none, being watchful unto prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, O oh God. Amen and amen. And I always want to say good morning. God bless you.